So if you saw the Glastonbury haul video um, from yesterday, you will have seen that I bought a few things for my sacred space. So first thing to say is my sacred space traditionally doesn't tend to, you know, it's sowing in two days. Um, what I will do is I'll turn the wheel and also here and I have an alt card for each one. So this will change to, to sour. But other than that, I don't decorate it with spools, pumpkins, etc. I tend to use them more on my desk area. Um, I've got a desk that has um, two parts to it. So it's like an L shape and one end is where I work and the other is where I tend to have seasonal things. Um, this just tends to be my space in general. Uh, where I like candles, I'll sit in front, I'll contemplate, meditate, that sort of thing, um, do offerings, etc. I always try, wherever possible, to make it less busy. But then over time, I get a few bits and bobs and I start adding to it and it gets very cluttered. So my purpose today is to strip it back. I've obviously got a new goddess to go in the middle and that is being gifted and um, small Gaia because I've got a large Gaia which is what you see behind me in the videos and lives. Um, so I'm going to strip this off completely and just breathe some new life into it. What is staying is the god and the goddess, my Philippa Bowers. I love them. Um, but yeah, hopefully less will be more. But we will see. Okay, so first things first is decluttering, taking everything off. And this is something I always do when I redo my space. I don't just move things about, I take every single item off, whether it's going to go back on or go in storage or be used somewhere else. Um, it enables me to do a deep cleanse and start to build the altar afresh. Um, and yeah, it's, it's quite therapeutic taking every single item off and then being more mindful about what's going to go back on. Most of the cloths will go into wash and I'll use a fresh one today. Now comes the cleaning part. I'm amazed. Just look how shiny it is. <laughs> I tend to dust around things rather than move things again downside of having a cluttered altar okay so i'm starting off with my new goddess and building everything around her this print is from the brahma kumaris it's called source and it's the point of energy that supreme source where all life originates and i think she looks beautiful in front of it these are my god and goddess representing the masculine and feminine from Philippa Bowers. They're, they were an investment, but I love having that energy on my altar. Here's the goddess from Sons of Asgard, uh, which is, I'm gonna use for offerings. And then my candles, black and white candles. They, these are frothy candles from Star Child. They burn beautifully. And then my Sheila and a gig and fertility goddess that go in either side of the goddess of abundance. On the masculine side, I've got a crystal representing the sun and also my uh, athame. And on the feminine side, crystal representing earth and the chalice. The only things now that I'm gonna put back on is my Samhain card, my altar card, and a few things like um, incense, and a bell titty bunny of course has to go on my sacred space <laughs> especially after she had a little accident earlier in the year and i restored her so yeah that's my new altar okay so all done i've been waiting for i've got to clear all this stuff now off the table i've been waiting for the hammering to stop next door but it's not, so I don't know what they're creating next door. Um, but I don't have time, so hopefully the hammering won't be too distracting. 
So I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I love the uh, sauce, as it's called, um, which has this gorgeous kind of 3D effect with how it's printed. Um, I've got my little Gaia above here, Goddess, and then Abundance is right in the middle. So as you're looking face on at this, her head is right in the center at that point of light which is which is gorgeous i've got my frothy candles the black and the white um sheila and a gig is here and the fertility goddess i've got some fire and ice crystals because i just i love them and here with my goddess and um, that i got from sons of asgard i put another fire and ice crystal in um there to charge and throughout the year I'll use different kind of offerings I do have some Samhain blend which I uh, need to put in as well I've got my Samhain card here Titty Bunny had to make a return I've got my Athame which is on the masculine side with my um, god and the fire um, this kind of represents the sun uh, for me, but it's a beautiful um, carnelian. No, not carnelian. It's not the right word. Um, calcite, orange calcite. My incense sticks. So I've got a crystal bath here for incense. I've got one just about to burn out now. Smells beautiful. I've got my chalice, which has some chalice well water in, and that's obviously on the female side. Um, She's got a candle burning inside her as well there. Now, I don't have one that represents the moon. Maybe if I'd got some blue calcite or, I don't know, maybe even um, soda light. But this represents the earth for me when I see these colours. And this is a beautiful fluorite sphere. Um, so, with my revering of Gaia. I thought that was per perfect. Um, this represents air. So I do have um, all the elements represented as well. Air, water, fire, earth, with the, the crystals. So that's it. Let me know, um, let me know your thoughts. I, I think it looks a lot less cluttered. And yeah, it's just, I'm really, really happy with it.